Morning everyone, it is a lovely morning. Sirius says good morning, as you can see he's leading quite, quite well now. He's not quite on my shoulder but we'll get there. So today we're going to do a couple of little different things. Um, we're going to continue with the establishing of direction and changes of direction. We're going to do what we call a sending exercise. So that will involve him coming off some pressure from the rope halter. If he doesn't um, obey the pressure, then we're gonna we're gonna ask him with the rope halter, and then we're gonna tell him with some other commands if he doesn't do what he's supposed to. And then we're gonna try and start to introduce a little bit of flexing as well. So we're just on the way to the round pen. It's about eight o'clock, and it's a lovely morning. So uh, we'll see how this goes. As I've just said, we're going to start off with uh, establishing direction again, just to give him a little reminder of what we're asking for. Don't forget three things. The first is the suggestion. If he doesn't go with the suggestion, we'll then ask him. And if he doesn't go after we've asked him, we're then going to tell him. So let's hear it. I can't stress enough how you use the suggest, ask and tell. You can see there where I've got my arm up. My arm is the suggestion. The ask will be the clock and the tell will be the end of the rope. The reason for this is it's quite simple. We want our horses to be soft in every way we can. If we were to tell them every single time we wanted us to do, the, to do something, then that's what they learn. They learn to have to be told all the time. So we start with a suggestion, which is a really light introduction. The ask is a bit firmer and then the tell. So this is now our sending exercise. Look out for the suggestion, the ask and the tell. So he's good on this one. But it's not so good this side. Tell him with the stick. Ask him with the rope halter. Tell him with the stick. Ask him with the rope halter. Tell him with the stick. So I'm moving less and less, but he is still asking with the rope halter. Tell him with the stick. So he's still very sticky on that right hand side, his right hand side, and I'm putting that down to that old little war wound that he's got on his shoulder where he doesn't like me around that way. So we're going to have to work a little bit more on that. Thank <laughs> you. 
reason we're doing this is to A, get control of his feet. If you control his feet, you control his mind. Secondly, getting used to coming off the pressure from the rope halter. And thirdly, he's starting to now bend his body, something he's never done for six years. So we're introducing that bend now. Ask him with the rope halter, tell him with the stick. <laughs> but if you remember he prefers me so I kind of messed up there my storage uh, was full halfway through that so we only got some of it um, but that's it for session one session two will be later on this afternoon and uh, we're going to cover the same things again and then session three later on we're going to cover the same things again but we're going to then head over to the, the sand paddock give him a little bit of a change of scenery but there's also a reason that I'm going to take him to the sand paddock after we've finished working out and uh, we're just going to walk around once, maybe twice. Now, if you know why or you have a reason why you think that I do that, if you just put your reply in the comments, um, and I think what we'll do is the first person to get that right, uh, we might, if you want to, we'll invite you down and you can watch a training session with Sirius. Um, but yeah, that's it for now. It's a bit windy so I'll come in with a voiceover. Um, so if you notice how we're doing it, we're yielding the hindquarters there. We're suggesting with our arm and putting the pressure on the rope halter. We're clucking and then just one swipe at the back. If you notice on this session, this is this is our third session today. He's a little bit jumpy still, but he, he is a lot calmer than what he was when we first did it this morning. I always say it takes six attempts to do something before the horse has a, a really good idea of what you're asking. So if you look at him there, he's just just stopping and hesitating. There's Mr. Great watching on. So I'm going to come in with a voiceover again. What we're looking for is as soon as he feels that rope being picked up, he bends his head like that. That is really good. It's re he's really soft on this left-hand side. And the right-hand side's getting a bit better too.
Who'd have thought this guy could change so much in less than a week? He is absolutely an amazing horse. Now, believe it or not, this tonight is the first time that he's led in properly into the stable. He's not bolted through. And I put that down to the sending exercise. What I was trying to do was get ever so nearer to the fence, make the gap in between myself and the fence that little bit smaller each time. That's it for now. Join us tomorrow for more serious.